We're at the Fletcher Canyon Trailhead today in the Mount Charleston wilderness of Nevada, about 40 miles outside of Las Vegas. And our goal today is to explore the base of Fletcher Peak, the wilderness in that area. And the Fletcher Peak area is above these cliffs. And so we're gonna see if we can navigate around the cliffs that you see here. So let's get started. Okay, there's the trailhead parking. We're gonna start by crossing Kyle Canyon Road and heading up the trailhead, which is right across the road. One thing to notice today are the incredible ponderosa pines. You'll see these along the Fletcher Canyon Trail and on upward toward Fletcher Peak and hopefully we'll get up to the point where these ponderosa pines give way to bristlecone pines, ancient pines that um, are up to 3,000 years old in this area, the oldest living things in Nevada. Okay, let's go. We're approaching the Eagle's Nest Loop turnoff. This is the only main turnoff on this Fletcher Canyon Trail. And here's Eagle's Nest Loop Trail. Beautiful trail. Open, wide open area. Spectacular views. Okay, continuing on, what we're gonna do, you see this is a, a wide, really nice trail. This wide trail is gonna end, and at that point, I believe there's a gully that may lead upward toward Fletcher Peak. And that's where we'll find out if that Assumption is correct. Okay, there's the cliff line above, and the goal is to find a way to get above this cliff line, then it's a more gradual incline to Fletcher Peak. Now, notice the cliff line, and then go to the left, and right at this point, that's where there may be a route around the cliff line, just to the left of that last point that I, that I showed. And um, that occurs where this wide trail ends splits off to the left as a more narrow trail and heads up the beautiful Fletcher Canyon, which is almost like a slot canyon. You can see in other videos on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. But instead of turning left, we're going to take a right at that point and hopefully be able to navigate up to the left of this cliff. And then on up to Fletcher Peak. No promises, but at least we'll explore the area, see what we can discover. This is a very dry environment and you wonder how these plants survive. Well, here's one survivor. This is a gambles oak and the gambles oak sends roots down hundreds of feet. You can see this wash. It's a dry wash. It was flowing with water. Last May, I got some great pictures and videos of that on the Fletcher Canyon Trail. 
video and page on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. Anyway, as you can see, it's dry now. But there is still water flowing deep beneath. And this Gamble's Oak sends roots down to where that water is. And these oak line a lot of the washes that you'll see in the spring mountains, especially in the lower elevations. Here's another dry environment survivor. This is the pointed leaf manzanita, very common in this area. And you can notice it by, identify it by the red bark. I took a right where the main trail ended and the more narrow trail began instead of a left into Fletcher Canyon. I took a right and I find myself now on a very faint trail that hopefully could wind up through the cliffs above. We don't know, but let's just see where this goes. Yeah, this may be a rock climber's approach trail to the cliffs, in which case it's a dead end for me. But on the other hand, maybe we'll get lucky, find a way through the cliffs. And here we are looking around. There's some cliffs across the canyon. And here are the cliffs that it would be really nice to find a way through these cliffs and around. We'll see. There are other options too. But at least we'll know what happens when you take a right where the main trail ends instead of the more common left into the Slot Canyon area of Fletcher Canyon. Well, it's a definite trail up here. We don't know where it goes. Does it go to the edge of a cliff? And then if you're a rock climber, you can climb that cliff, which I do not do. Or does it wind up and through the cliffs and make an approach to Fletcher Peak Summit? Let's find out. And by the way, here's the cliff face above us. And just maybe this is going to do the trick. It looks like there is a potential opening up here, but who knows what ledges lie between us and the top of those cliffs once we hit the cliffs and we get beyond them, yeah, I think it's a pretty nice shot up to Fletcher Peak Summit. But this next stretch of maybe a thousand feet ahead of us is going to make all the difference. It looks pretty rugged. Well, this little unmarked trail is rather steep in places, a little steeper than what you're looking at right now. But it's a clearly defined trail. And I'll put it this way. If you can summit Mummy Mountain and deal with the avalanche slopes um, on the way to the summit there, you can navigate this trail at least up to this point 
with no problem because it's an easier stretch than that final summit approach to Mummy Mountain once you take a ride off the North Loop Trail. And by the way, looking around, here is the eastern approach ridge to Harris Mountain. We've been up the western approach ridge before. And cliffs on the opposite side of Fletcher Canyon. And you can see up ahead where Fletcher Canyon begins to narrow into a beautiful slot canyon. So at the least, no matter where this trail ends up taking us, at least it's giving us some unique perspectives of the area and a trail that is totally unmarked, unexpected. So let's find out where it goes. Okay, we're continuing up this nice little trail. What are the chances it'll take us around these cliffs? Um, I'm not really hopeful because look what we're approaching. Um, this trail goes somewhere, so we'll find out. Maybe it goes along the base of the cliffs. If it turns right, that's what's happening. If it turns left, <laughs> that may be also happening because I just don't see a way that, um, that this route is gonna get us over these cliffs. Maybe it just ends at a cliff base where rock climbers climb. But it is a real trail. And it looks like it's fairly well frequented. Totally unmarked. There you're looking down into Fletcher Canyon, Slot Canyon. And the views get better and better. Um, I'm on some ins unsecured ground here, so I'm gonna be very careful. As I turn, there's nothing like in the midst of a turn photographing the scenery that you totally lose it. And um, if you ever see blue sky during one of my videos, that's exactly what happened. Okay, let's continue up this trail, see where it leads. This trail continues to be a very nice trail, and as we ascend and wind around, I'm thinking more and more that it's not a rock climber's approach trail. Could be wrong, but if it were a rock climber's approach trail and the purpose was to get you to the cliffs, I don't think that it would wind around so much because we've been at the base of a lot of cliffs, unless there's a famous rock climbing spot ahead, which would be a dead end for me. But look at this, down into Fletcher Canyon, Slot Canyon. So regardless of what this trail is doing and where it leads, look at the spectacular views that are opening up here. There's the trail that I've just covered. There's the Eastern Approach Ridge to Harris Mountain. And here's part of the length of Fletcher Canyon below us. So are we just lucky or are we actually going to find a way above the cliffs and 
to Fletcher Peak. Is this a dead end rock climbers approach trail or is it a hidden Fletcher Peak summit uh, back trail that few people know about? Let's find out. We'll take a look at this. This helps build confidence in the trail. Even this little class three section looks like it's been built up with some rocks to make stairway. So yeah, um, that gives me confidence that this trail is actually going through the cliffs. Let's find out. And the trail continues to wind upward above that little class three aided by stairs section. And it looks like now we are winding through an opening in the cliffs. This is pretty exciting. Discovery of a new route to Fletcher Peak that's actually a trail. Here's a fairly steep loose rock section. And what I'd say is, is it would be a good idea to have summited Mummy Mountain and done the North Loop before you attempt this trail. If you can do those two so far, you are good. And to uh, show that somebody's putting some work into this little trail, they left their hedge clippers right here on the trail. So now we're continuing on upward. Okay, one thing about this trail, and you'll notice there's no trail where I am. There are no Cairns. And so maybe this trail is still in process. Um, you could head up this way and maybe it'll lead beyond the cliffs up above. Or I could have turned below and I still may go back down as an alternative. And there's a gully down below. And maybe one could take that gully all the way up over the cliffs. Anyway, yeah, um, not sure where to go from here, but I'm going to continue up and just hope beyond hope that I reconnect with the trail. So now what I said about um, summiting Mummy Mountain and doing the Charleston Loop Trail first, I got to say that this section right here is beyond both of those, but maybe it's a short section. We'll find out. Did you ever get the feeling you should have taken the other choice? Um, we're heading up a channel here that is very similar to the west side of Mummy Mountain and that avalanche slope. Only this is far more isolated. And turning around, we're looking down to the opening of Fletcher Canyon. So the reason I'm pointing this out is that in the event that I need to retrace my way because I've hit a dead end, I'll be looking between to make a route between that cliff up ahead and Fletcher Canyon below. Not a whole lot of secure footing here on this slope. We're definitely in class three territory, but let's continue on up and see where it leads. If we're lucky, we'll top the cliffs and things will level off a bit on the way to Fletcher Peak. Um, or maybe they won't. But what do you know? I've navigated to a higher point in that gully we saw a bit ago. 
and it looks like this is a little more level. Who knows? Uh, maybe I bypassed some ledges in, below in the gully. We don't know. But I'm going to angle over and take the gully for a while just to see if that's going to be an easier route because this route has been clinging on to the side of an avalanche slope with a drop off below and we're heading toward a cliff up there. So this gully actually doesn't look too bad compared to what I've been doing. So let's take the gully. And by the way, here's our view down. You're looking down to Fletcher Canyon and incidentally, there's Griffith Peak. which would seem to indicate that Fletcher Peak is up this way. <laughs> we'll find out. I am, I've now gone or ascended um, close to 2,000 feet. We have about we're about a thousand to 1500 feet below Fletcher Peak Summit at this point. But a lot can happen in that space. Well, as you can see, there's more obstacles in the gully, definitely. But the incline is much more gentle and forgiving. So I'm not hanging on for dear life like I was a moment ago. Here's a look down the gully. And by the way, if there was a trail that I was on, and if that trail continued like it looked like it would, then it could have been a backdoor trail to Fletcher Peak. However, the route I've taken here I just can't recommend this to anyone. It's just too convoluted and complicated. And yeah, the only reason I'm continuing up is that I don't want to go back down the way I came. So let's continue on. It looks like it may be leveling off a little bit which means that maybe we'll connect with the Fletcher Peak Trail. Maybe not. We don't know. So far, this gully's been pretty good. I saw this cliff line above when I was further up on the avalanche slopes up there. And I was thinking, well, maybe my route along the cliff line would have... Um, brought me around and above that cliff line except I was traversing a very steep area uh, I gotta say the gully is much more friendly so uh, maybe the thing would have been to get in the gully as soon as possible and then head up the gully but we don't know for sure because there still could be a barrier there's about 1,700 feet elevation gain to go. And a lot can happen in 1,700 feet, especially as you get higher. Uh, beautiful trees all around. Looking down the gully. Some flowers blooming. Very nice. And the question always is, take the, if you have to go above this gully, do you go above to the left or to the right? I'm going to continue to stay in the center. 
but it looks like the ridge above to the left might not be too bad but we just don't know at this point so i'm staying in the gully first bristlecone pine and there are more ahead so we're in the bristlecone pine zone we are at about oh close to nine thousand feet and i predict that when we hit 9,800, we should be hitting a trail, but there's a lot that can happen in 800 feet. Onward. Oh, by the way, let's just get a 360 here. You can see there's walls on either side of this gully. And guess what? Looking straight down, there is Cathedral Rock. And the south rim of Kyle Canyon, Griffith Peak is between the, the trees, through the tree here. And then there's the Harris Griffith Saddle. So, and there's, there's a number of um, adventures that cross the Harris Griffith Saddle from different locations. The most recent one was from the Fletcher Canyon Trail area, and I called it the Harris Griffith Circuit, or the Fletcher Canyon Harris Griffith Circuit on Las Vegas area trails. Okay, let's continue upward. Just give me another 900 feet and we may have it made. Well, the golly continues to look good. There have been some steep, loose, rocky sections, but nothing really bad. Of course, when you look down, that's another story. Over in this direction, Charleston Peak. A little difficult to zoom in. That takes two hands. That means letting go of the rock that's holding me up. So yeah, Charleston Peak has come into view. And here we are. Let's continue upward. Looks like there's a horizon ahead, but not certain yet. So it's time to guess where I'm going to come out when I actually hit a trail, if I hit a trail. And I always like to guess, and I'm going to guess around Rain Tree. Not sure, but let's continue on up. And then turning around. Looking down this gully, yeah, it's sort of steep, but it's still very forgiving and nice. Um, but look what's up ahead, Charleston Peak. Now I'm predicting I'm within 400 feet. That's 400 feet elevation gain below hitting a trail or something familiar, being able to see where I am. Leveling off a little bit, which is good. And you can look around, see what's up here. I can't turn very much because I'm not on the most secure spot. But turning around this way, there's a shot of Griffith Peak.
and then the south rim of Kyle Canyon over to Charleston Peak. So yeah, a lot is visible here and I think that I'm looking down on Coxcomb Ridge. In fact, I'm pretty sure, which would mean that the junction between the Trail Canyon Trail and the North Loop Trail is right in this area and below where we are. So that's a good sign. So let's continue up and see where we land. Well, we've looked at the ponderosa pine, the man, point leaf manzanita, the gambles oak, and um, the bristlecone pine. As a matter of fact, there's a bristlecone pine, and we're smack dab in the middle of the bristlecone pine zone. I think only a couple hundred feet below hitting a trail. <laughs> we don't know. Anyway, yeah, here is the mountain mahogany. I want you to notice how the leaves are curled. The reason they're curled is to help prevent loss of moisture in this arid environment. So let's take a closer look again. And there it is, the mountain mahogany. And then looking around, things are sort of leveling off. Still don't know where we're going to end up, but we're close to that point. Feels good to be on ground that does not require the use of extra muscles just to keep from sliding. Okay, onward. And I believe I'm charting a course here that should end up close to Fletcher Peak. We don't know. Time to check in again. Curiously, we were within 100, 400 feet of the elevation of Fletcher Peak. No Fletcher Peak yet. No trails yet. But we can't get a whole lot higher before hitting something. And here's a good shot of the Harris Griffith saddle. And then looking around, very nice forest to be walking through. The incline isn't too bad and it looks like I've got at least 200 feet ahead with no obstacles. That's 200 feet elevation gain, which would put me within 200 feet of the elevation of Fletcher Peak. So who knows? I think we might just land on it um, and be surprised to be there. I don't know. Let's continue. Time to check in again. 
my calculations show us to be within 200 feet elevation of Fletcher Peak. And I see a horizon up there that looks like it's about 200 feet higher than the elevation upon which we are standing. Here is the nice gradual but steep incline of a forest. And this is the forest we are in at the moment. So the strategy is to just keep going up until I reach the elevation of Fletcher Peak and it's the highest elevation in the area. So when I reach that elevation, I should be standing on the summit of Fletcher Peak. Well, either Fletcher Peak is just a hundred feet elevation gain in this direction, which is the only way up, or I've discovered a new high point in the Spring Mountains, and we all know it has to be the first option. So we are very, we should be very close to the summit of Fletcher Peak. Definitely came in by the back door because I haven't hit a trail at all. So we'll probably be in that forested area um, just beyond the summit. So let's continue on. Just to give you a 360 degree view of where we are, beautiful bristlecone pine forest. Up here just below the summit of Fletcher Peak, if our calculations are correct. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, I believe that I'm in that little forested area just beyond Fletcher Peak Summit. This is the highest point in the area and it's, it's almost exactly on my altimeter, the 10,314 feet um, elevation level of Fletcher Peak. So, yeah, we'll just need to look around here a little bit, see if we can find the area with the summit and the summit box. Here's a beautiful bristlecone pine. And I hear voices, <laughs> so that tends to support the idea that we are indeed on Fletcher Peak. We just need to find the um, the summit box and then the trail down. By the way, there's a shot of Mummy's toe. Another confirmation we're on Fletcher Peak. Very beautiful up here. Well, I was indeed on that forested hill. In fact, this is that forested hill. Then there's a descent down this way and then an ascent up to the summit with the summit box. So yeah, now I know where I am for the first time today. Okay, here we are on the summit of Fletcher Peak and I've met three climbers here. And could you introduce yourselves? 
um, Tammy right here is very nice to meet David today. <laughs> so it's super nice. Nice to meet you. All right. And you? My head. Ten. Yeah. Very good. Simon. And we Simon. Are, we are Tammy's team. Uh, All right. A hiking group around Vegas. Uh, today is summer, so we hike around around Charleston. Usually on the spring and fall, we the Red Rock area. Okay. Wonderful. It's so nice to see you. <laughs> it's good yeah. to see you too. And and you live in Las Vegas. <laughs> and <laughs> I know you're a dealer. <laughs> so very good. It's a good good way to spend a, a day off. <laughs> oh, um, hopefully we can um, join you your your adventure. Yeah, email okay. me or call yeah, hopefully me. Hopefully we can do it together. Wonderful. Uh, but uh, you are you are. Super. <laughs> I don't know. I can catch you or not. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Have to do a 360 degree view from up here on Fletcher Peak. And let's start over in this direction. You can see Mount Wilson. And then the line of the Wilson Ridge, actually. Then here's Harris Mountain. There's the Western Approach Ridge. And then to the right of Harris Mountain is the Harris Griffith Saddle. We've been on that recently. And then you're looking at the south rim of Kyle Canyon. Charleston Peak. Okay, Charleston Peak, and then over to the west rim of Kyle Canyon. Here's Mummy's Toe. And to the right are Mummy's Knees. And um, there's a great circuit that I did up to Mummy's Knees and over to Mummy's Toe. And um, between the knees and the toe, up there at 11,000 feet, I saw a sea fossil, an ancient Nautilus fossil. Pretty amazing. Mummy's Head. And so there are points in the Charleston wilderness. And by the way, the, the height just beyond Fletcher Peak, that forested area, it's exactly the same height as the elevation of Fletcher Peak. I always wondered, well, I checked them both out today. So, okay, now it's going to be fun not only to be going downhill, but to be going downhill on trails. Now, when I get down to the Trail Canyon junction, I may either take the Trail Canyon Trail all the way down to the Trail Canyon Trailhead, or I may do... Um, you can see 
Coxcomb Ridge. Coxcomb Ridge down there. And I may do a wilderness um, traverse from Coxcomb Ridge down to the Fletcher Canyon Trailhead. Not sure what I'm going to do. Um, I've got to be on trails for a while before I decide if I want to do any more wilderness today. Okay, onward. Oh, and by the way, yeah, look at these beautiful bristlecone pines. Just amazing. One of my favorite peaks, Fletcher Peak. Okay, now we're on a real trail, starting down the main trail for Fletcher Peak. And what we're going to do is connect with the North Loop Trail, then go to Rain Tree, and then around to the junction with the Trail Canyon Junction. And I think maybe by that time, I'll be ready to tackle Coxcomb Ridge and the wilderness in that area to make it a true circuit. So, here we go. Okay, we've descended to the base of the Fletcher Canyon Trail, and we are at the intersection, unmarked of course, the intersection with the North Loop Trail. And in case you're wondering where that intersection is, there's a sawn off log here. Um, on the North Loop Trail. And you take a right and you head up the Fletcher Peak Trail. Very quick trail. Seems like a lot, but no, it's not. Okay, our next stop is going to be Rain Tree. So here we go. Okay, we're about ready to descend to Rain Tree. And when, when you look at Rain Tree, <laughs> I slipped on something. Um, when you look at Rain Tree, you're looking at one of the oldest living organisms in Nevada. 3,000 years old. It was 500 years old when the Parthenon was being built in Greece. So let's take a look at this tree. It's truly amazing. And here it is. The bristlecone pine, 3,000 years old that we call rain tree. And it was about, uh, well, it was born, it was a little rain tree, sapling, about a thousand years after Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. Look at that canopy. It's just incredible. Okay, let's head down the North Loop Trail. We're taking a left at Rain Tree. By the way, if you took a right, you'd go to Mummy Springs, and that is the way to go to Mummy's Toe if you want to visit Mummy's Toe. And then I have um, I have some adventures that go up the eastern cliffs of Mummy Mountain, and you can get there through the wilderness after um, you cross. Mummy Springs. But we're turning left, heading down to the connection with the Trail Canyon Trail. And here's a quick look back at Fletcher Peak from the North Loop Trail below Rain Tree.
there you have it. Seems like a long way, but I'd say it's about a half hour from the summit to where I'm standing right now. And there's Coxcomb Ridge below. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna skirt this side of Coxcomb Ridge and head down through the wilderness, connect with the Stanley B Springs Trail. But I just want to show you the terrain here before we get to Coxcomb Ridge. Coxcomb Ridge um, access is actually at the trailhead or at the um, intersection of the North Loop Trail and the Trail Canyon Trail, Coxcomb Ridge. And here we are on the North Loop Trail, above all of that. And as long as we're looking around, there above Cockcomb Ridge is the south rim of Kyle Canyon, over to Griffith Peak. And then down through the saddle to Harris Mountain. And then there's Fletcher Peak. And it wouldn't be complete without showing Charleston Peak. Good shot of the Western Approach Ridge up to Harris Mountain. We're looking right in the center. And perhaps you recognize that from the Fletcher Canyon, Harris Mountain, Griffith Peak circuit on LasVegasAreaTrails.com. Okay, here we are at the junction of the North Loop Trail, which I'm on right now, and the Trail Canyon Trail, which you would be on if you headed down in this direction. And here's the North Loop Trail continuing on up toward Charleston Peak. And there is Charleston Peak. Pretty massive tree fell here recently. Probably all the rain. Who knows? Anyway, yeah. If you take neither the Trail Canyon Trail nor the North Loop Trail, but you turn up in this direction, that's how you get to Coxcomb Ridge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to Coxcomb Ridge or toward Coxcomb Ridge and then skirt the left side down to the Stanley B Springs Trail and then out that trailhead at Kyle Canyon Road just above the 
rainbow subdivision and then take the Kyle, a left on the Kyle Canyon Road and about a half mile will be at our starting point, the Fletcher Canyon Trailhead parking area. Okay, there's Coxcomb Ridge. There's a little trail here that skirts the left side of the ridge, east side of the ridge. Let's just see where it goes. Maybe it's going to head down toward where we want to go. On second thought, that little spin-off trail once you got around the corner was really looking like that um, avalanche slope that I ascended um, till finally I could ascend no further um, from Fletcher Canyon Trail. So I don't want to go back there. I'm going to go up this way and see if I can find another better um, route down from Coxcomb Ridge. Let's try it. Okay, here is the main Coxcomb Ridge trail that skirts the east side of the ridge. And I've actually made it on the Coxcomb circuit page of LasVegasAreaTrails.com but I'm forgetting how I did it. <laughs> so we'll scout around here, look for a potential um, slope that'll take us down to where we want to go. Okay, here's the main Coxcomb Ridge Trail that goes along the east side of Coxcomb Ridge up ahead. There's Coxcomb Peak. And I seem to remember taking this route downward. We don't know how that's going to work out, but let's just try it for a little ways and see if it's a possibility. And by the way, Here's looking back toward Mummy Mountain, and you can see part of the Coxcomb Ridge Trail. Okay, this is looking good, sort of. Okay, I'm gonna head down this gully and then cross a few ridges and then find the ridge that leads to Stanley B Springs Trail. That is the hope. Let's go. Okay, the strategy is to skirt the eastern base of Coxcomb Ridge. Try not to descend too far because we'll end up on that monster avalanche slope that leads down to Fletcher Canyon. Wouldn't be entirely bad, but I'm not sure exactly where those connections are. So I'm going to continue along and skirt the edge of Coxcomb Ridge until I find a descent ridge that's going to lead to the Stanley B. Springs Trail. Seems there's almost a kind of a pathway along these ridges here. So we'll continue to skirt the ridges. Coxcomb Ridge is above us. So we're skirting these a little lower and hoping to um, find that descent ridge to the Stanley B. Springs Trail. Here's my route so far, right up that channel. Here's the first ridge to cross. And there's the second ridge. There's a series of ridges and I think maybe four or more ridges, and then we find that descent ridge. If not, it's gonna be interesting. Okay, onward. And a few more reference points from this spot. Here are the La Madre Mountains.
and back behind us in all its glory. There is Mummy's Toe on the right and Mummy Mountain Summit on the left. Okay, let's cross this next ridge. Well, it's a nail biter in places, but continuing to work my way, traversing the east side of Coxcomb Ridge. Let's just see where this leads us. I wanna stay high so I don't end up down on the steep avalanche slopes over Fletcher Canyon and we have so far been skirting this area that's the last ridge we crossed just now there's mummy's uh, toe and to the left the summit of mummy mountain I believe my descent ridge is two ridges over how to get there we don't know. I'm going to descend down this ridge a little ways, see if I can find a crossover. Worst comes to worst, I do this traverse again back to the Trail Canyon Trail North Loop Trail Junction and then just take the North Loop or the Trail Canyon Trail down. Well, let's, let's give this a little more of a chance. Well, this isn't the descent route I was looking for, but it seems to be going down gradually enough just so it doesn't end with a drop off. And we don't know. That's the real question. But I'm heading down. I would like to be over one more ridge but just can't seem to get over there at least from this location so let's keep going down as far as this ridge will let us go and um, see where it takes us well i was on a ridge before now i'm in a gully hopefully there's not a drop off here maybe i can take this all the way down and I've been coming down from Coxcomb Ridge above. So let's just see how this works. It looks good, at least as far as I can see ahead. But I still have another thousand feet to lose before I'm down at Fletcher Canyon level. Not sure, but I think I might have landed on the descent ridge. And Harris Mountain is the reference point I remember from a few years ago. So I was down in the gully and then I back climbed a little bit. navigated over one ridge and so this is a possible descent ridge and I see the rainbow subdivision down below so that's a good sign too we'll see I was still one ridge too far over and so i was able to make it down to the gully between that ridge and the ridge i should have been on but i just couldn't get over there but the good news is that it looks like i've stumbled upon a trail if that's the case then we've got it made onward Another discovery, 
a mine. There's water coming out of it. Interesting. It's been blocked off, so I can't explore it. But yeah, a mine, that's maybe why this trail exists. Let's hope the trail goes all the way down. Well, duh, I do believe this would be Stanley B. Spring. <laughs> I have to come back here when I've got more daylight just to see the spring. Pretty cool. But for now, let's get back down to Kyle Canyon Road while it's still light. Well, this appears to be a very good trail. I still have about 800 feet of descent and I'm working against the light so this will probably be the last um, installment here on this video maybe you can see the beast in the dark when I finally get back to the car but the good news is that yes there's a really nice trail here and we want to see where it comes out because I want to come back and see the spring and the mine when I've got more time. In the meantime, today's event was to go from Fletcher Canyon up to Fletcher Peak and then down to Coxcomb Ridge and finally come out at the Stanley B Spring Trail. And we've done it, the complete loop. But as I said, it bears a little more um, research and another adventure, maybe just to Stanley B. Springs. Well, it's still light, and here we are on Kyle Canyon Road, and we're at the Stanley B. Springs parking area. So, um, if you, if you want to experiment with this, little circuit adventure you could go from either direction you could start up the Fletcher Canyon Trail or you could park at Stanley B Springs do the opposite direction head up the Stanley B Springs Trail to Coxcomb Ridge and then over to Fletcher Peak and down. But I would recommend um, doing it in a counterclockwise direction from Fletcher Canyon Trail simply because the route is a lot easier to discover uh, remember there was that unexpected trail um, that we found. They took us a good way up through the cliffs, at least to a gully that got us through the cliffs, and then we were able to uh, reach Fletcher Peak. Then coming down, um, I... I don't think I did the coxcomb portion too well. Got off on the wrong descent ridge. So if you 
took this loop in a clockwise direction, yeah, it would be easier to get to Coxcomb Ridge. And it would be okay getting to Fletcher Peak because you'd have the North Loop Trail and the Fletcher Peak Trail. But descending from Fletcher Peak could be a real problem. So pick your poison clockwise or counterclockwise, either way, um, you're likely to get a little off course as I did today, and probably near the end of the adventure. But we made it. And it was an awesome adventure. <laughs>